In this video, I'm going to show you how to decrypt and inspect network traffic on your Mac computer. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is download Charles Proxy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open it. Okay, and you can see traffic is coming through already. So say we go to reddit.com, we can now see all that traffic coming through here. The problem is because um, this, is, uh, this traffic is over TLS, it's going to be encrypted. Now, that doesn't mean every header is encrypted. Like, you can still see the host, you can see the protocol, and some other information, but you can't see the body. So, like, if we pull this request, this is the HTML document for this. Um, the data is all encrypted. So, the way we get around that is we can go into proxy settings, SSL proxy settings, and we're going to select enable SSL proxy. Now from there, we still need to enable it at the domain level. So I'm going to right click this. I'm going to select enable SSL proxy. We'll clear this out. We will refresh. Now Chrome is throwing an error saying that um, the connection is not private. All right, so if we're getting this error on trying to decrypt, then we're going to go into Charles. We're going to go to help SSL proxying and we're going to do install Charles root certificate. And then we are going to search for keychain access. We're going to pop this open. Sometimes it doesn't show up right away. I don't know why that is. Let's see here. Yeah, let's uh, quit it and then reopen. There it is. Okay, so we're going to click the Charles Proxy Cert. We are going to expand the trust settings. We're going to do always trust, collapse, close. Okay, and now we should be good. So clear. Refresh. All right, so it is now proxying and allowing decryption. And we should be able to see that come through here. Just booting up the HTML. There it is. So this is the HTML, and then these are some API calls. And now we can see, you know, what these requests look like, and we can see the content. Um, that's being requested. This is actually interesting. These are like experiment IDs and things like that. So stuff having to do with A-B testing. That's pretty cool. Um, and we could do that for any website. You could also do it for any native app. So now say for a second we want to decrypt um, native app traffic. So I'm going to load up uh, Google Maps, the desktop app and see if we can't capture that traffic. So let's see here. Okay, so I'm just in Google Maps here and I was just um, searching around and we can see traffic coming through this route here, maps, preview, passive assist. So we can see there's some data in here that's relevant, right? Like this is an address right here, American restaurant. It's just not the most legible here, but I'm sure if we teased it apart, we could figure out what's going on. And um, again, we're decrypting this traffic. We're intercepting it from a native app and we're decrypting it and understanding what the shape and content of that network traffic looks like. So this is really powerful um, and it's a great tool to have in your toolkit. 
anyways that's all i have as always guys if you found this video useful go ahead and click that like button and thanks for listening